And China is expanding its military drills near Taiwan, flying missiles over the island, launching cyber attacks, and, and, and adding, rather, anti-submarine drills. Beijing's strategy appears to be encircling Taiwan and isolating it. Taiwan's foreign minister says that China is using the drills to prepare for an invasion. So foreign correspondent Lucy Kraft is covering the story for us from Japan and joins us to talk a little bit more about what we're seeing. So thank you for joining us, Lucy. Um, it certainly appears as if, good morning, that the strategy is to sort of create a blockade around Taiwan. Uh, you know, there was always a lot of talk about China attacking Taiwan, but a blockade mm -hmm. can be certainly quite damaging to the Taiwanese economy. It's an island. If you can't get anything in and out, there's a problem. Can you talk a little bit more about this strategy? Yes. So China's military exercises were unprecedented in scale and intensity. They sought to surround the island with six active zones. The purpose of these zones was to cut off access to the Taiwan Strait and to major ports, attack Taiwan's primary military bases, and prevent escape. The U.S. Defense Department, to be clear, says it still believes an invasion won't happen in the next two years. But China's prolonged show of force is seen as not just a way of practicing a blockade and invasion of Taiwan. It's also being viewed as an attempt to normalize Chinese aggression in mm. the Taiwan Strait. That is fascinating. And a reminder, these are drills, but it certainly is giving us some insight into what China may be capable of. Um, in the meantime, Taiwan is beginning its own military drills. You know, can you give us a sense of just what sort of military Taiwan has? What are they expected to do with these drills? And whether or not they are getting the type of international support they need and want. It's one thing, Nancy Pelosi, to show up and give a show of support. But is Taiwan asking for anything more? Well, first of all, Taiwan has less than 200,000 active duty military personnel compared to China's 2 million. Taiwan's compulsory military duty for men only, by the way, is just four months. That's arguably too short to prepare soldiers for combat. Taiwan has about one fifth as many combat aircraft as China, and most of its fighter jets are old. Critics warn that Taiwan is unprepared to fight the kind of asymmetric warfare used successfully in Ukraine to repel Russia's invasion. This week, Taiwan held what it called were regularly scheduled defensive drills, firing out to sea for about an hour, an exercise carried out by hundreds of troops and several dozen howitzers. War simulations by U.S. experts predict that if the U.S. helps defend Taiwan from Chinese attack, the island could successfully resist invasion. But the damage to Taiwan physically and economically, not to mention the cost to U.S. forces, would be enormous. Well, Lucy, uh, we are all watching this area of the world closely. Thank you very much. Thank you.